You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. I have another new face for Greater Brockton today. I have Marianne Dodero. Welcome, Marianne. Thanks Thank for you, coming. Mark. Um, you are an animal lover. I you am. You love animals. <laughs> it's pretty apparent. I, I, I look at Facebook posts and things like that. And you're involved in this great new organization called Rough Start. I am. Rough Start Rescue. Now, how'd you get involved? And uh, you have an event coming up that we're going to promote. Great. Um, I love animals, and I've known the girls that organize the Rough Start Rescue. And so I just hooked on with them and wanted to volunteer and save as many animals as I could. Now, you are a foster parent to I animals, am. correct? I have two little dogs of my own and a cat, mm -hmm. and I foster one or two dogs at a time. Wow, so that's a little bit of juggling. It, is okay. a <laughs> it must have been a real challenge this year with all the snow. It was. It was unbelievable. I Good mean, thing I have a big deck. I mean, I'm watching uh, the squirrels uh, playing with the apple outside on top of the <laughs> snow banks right now, and it's kind of crazy. So let, let's talk about your event, and then we'll talk a little bit more near the end about why you love it so much. Great. Um, Rough Start Rescue, which is the organization, you are going to have an event on Friday, March 27th at 6.30 over at the Polish White Eagles Club, which is... Livingston Road in Brockton, but a lot of people know that it's right off of Montello. Correct. Okay. Um, I know that place very well because uh, one of my dear friends who passed away, Paul Canavan, he used to be a, a, a regular over there. Right. That Paul was, was a great guy. Hangouts. He was a big supporter too. So what's happening on the 27th? What's the so event? So we're going to have a meat raffle. Mm -hmm. It's called a meat raffle. Have you ever gone to a oh, meat yeah, raffle? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, yep. and I'm sure a lot of people here have gone to a meat raffle. We're going to have about six meat raffles. We're going to have a 50-50 raffle. Okay. We're going to have a Chinese raffles. Okay. Um, we're also going to have a couple dogs there. Okay. They're letting us bring a couple dogs, so adoptable dogs. So might be adopted right there on, well, you got to well, get checked out. Yeah, right? we first have to get checked out, but we'll have all the um, applications for volunteering, for fostering. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, hopefully we'll have a great outcome. I've already sent letters out to a lot of friends and family members and hoping to have 100, 200 people at least. Well, that place has the capacity. It's a nice place. There's plenty of parking. Uh, you're waiting till the end of the month just to be safe that yeah. we don't get any more snow, right? <laughs> you're right. Okay. Um, and it doesn't cost to go. It doesn't. Uh, free admission. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have free prizes too. Okay. Uh, and we also going to promote, We I have a couple great friends that sponsored uh, koozies and travel mugs we're going to have for sale with Rough Snot Rescue on them. Okay. And, uh, one of the local dentists And it says donations up. of dog toys and blankets greatly appreciated. So the cost of admission, even though it doesn't cost a blanket, wouldn't be a bad thing to it bring. It would be a great thing to bring. Okay. So how come you got involved with this organization and talk about your love for animals and why, why this is so important to you? Well, the girls that started it have, are great girls. They mm -hmm. are so dedicated to animals. They'll do anything, just like all of us. And I, um, I've always loved animals. We used to have a cousin, and we had a horse up in the field. I've always had dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. And they're defenseless. No one, people have helped animals. No one can help the animals except us. I mean, I don't know about you, but if I see, and it's not this organization, it's another one, but you see the sad faces oh. in the cages oh. or, you know, an animal that, God forbid, was abused or something like that. And in, in, in a sense, they're voiceless unless people Help them, like right. yourself. And that's what we have to do. Everyone mm -hmm. should help, volunteer, do anything. Okay. Now, I'm sure you've got a band of friends that are probably involved in this. You, you know the girls that started it, but uh, I have a feeling you're pretty persuasive and you probably <laughs> gather a few people in Brockton. In the Brockton I do. I've, I've got a few people to help us out and to foster and do some applications. And I'm still looking. Mm -hmm. we, uh, I always, at the Polish Club where I'm a member, we get people there to help us support and we get donations. You can also, don't, if you can't make it to the re meat raffle, we, donations would be wonderful. Okay, and uh, where is, uh, you, you must have a vendor that's helping you out with the, with the meat raffle. Is it one of the local, um, if you want to give them Actually, a plug? Actually, we, well, we pay for the meat ourselves. Okay. And then we just get reimbursed. But it's Chris Shetty's, which is oh, like yeah. number one around here. Oh, absolutely. Everyone goes there to get their special cut of meat. So everything is coming from Chris Shetty's, Okay. which and is great. To me, the only other meat raffles that are going on in Brockton that I know of are usually the VFW on North Quincy Street does them on a fairly regular basis. But you don't see them as much anymore. Yeah. Actually, I go to support the veterans every uh, once, the first Sunday, I believe, give okay. them a plug, every first okay. Sunday of, uh, of the month. 
So it's that, at the VFW. That supports the veterans, this supports the pets. That's right. <laughs> okay. Anything we may not have talked about that you would want to bring up that I either haven't asked you or just something that comes to mind? Uh, no, other than, you know, the more people that get involved, the more animals we can save, the more money you want to donate. It doesn't have to be a lot of money. We're going to, Pet Supply Plus is going to help us out with donation. You know, we're going to have a couple donation jugs here. Mm -hmm. Put in extra change. It goes okay. a long way. And the raffles, uh, if you want to mention, we're non-commercial, but if you want to mention some of your special folks that help you out, like, you know, give certificates or something, I don't want to put you on the spot and forget somebody, but you Right, have well, actually, I'm really... still working. I'm working on a few of them. Okay. Because a lot of people, a lot of my friends are donating baskets, and a lot of the girls in the raffle um, are making baskets out of our own money. We oh, all, okay. This so is all for... Oh, yeah, that's a... But that's we, a... I'm going to some local restaurants and that's a fun thing to do my, yeah. my wife's pretty good at that so I'll have to figure out if I can get your basket that would too. be wonderful but we Thank wanted you, to Mark. help you publicize it we'll we'll run this all the way up till the day of the event we'll put it on our bulletin board and hopefully folks out in the community will go and support it so thanks for coming by Thank you. I really appreciate it, Mark. Glad to. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.